Dear Dr. Ray, what advice would you give for dealing with a family member or coworker who is so moody, this poor guy's got two of them, a family member and a coworker, who is so moody that I am unsure what to say or to do around them so as to not set them off. Actually, to tell you the truth, I, I'd like to know what set them off means. Uh, they say something nasty back, or do they challenge you? What do you mean by that? Have you ever noticed, though, when somebody says, what do you mean by that? And then you explain it, it never ends with, oh, thank you, now I know what you meant by that. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Much of the time, when you have somebody that you're not sure how they're going to react to what you say, come here, Isaiah. This is your debut. This is your second shot. Okay, now Isaiah doesn't have a mic, so you can't hear him. But if he says something really snotty to me, like he did to his mom and he's being punished for, <laughs> here's what I would do, James. That's it. I would just stare. You're, Isaiah, you're done now. Okay, you're done. <laughs> I'm the star, Isaiah. What can you say? A lot of times I just look. I just give them sort of a dumb look. And for those of you who have children, dumb looks are really easy. Okay. <laughs> Study your children's face the next time you say, why does your room look like this? <laughs> if you don't know how to give a dumb look, ask your husband. <laughs> you, know one, you know what one mom said to me one time? She said, what if you just normally look dumb? How can someone tell if you're giving them a dumb look or you're just being you? And I went... 